Woo. Well, uh, Navarrio was very popular, but it seems like in this series, no bans, no pick. Yep. Ooh. Oh. Change of sights. Change of sights. I think um, Angela should still be the priority for BTR, which means that they themselves can ban the Irito. Oh, good call. Man. Good call. Oh. Last second call. Okay. What the heck? Okay. Well, they go for it here, obviously, right? I mean, it is so far a 100% win rate in this so series. Far. They don't want to risk giving it away. Before RRQ, it's already, again, an adaptive draft. They banned Matilda game one. They left it open game two. Now yeah. they decide to ban it away again, this time accompanied with the joy. Yep. No oh, RQ, just uh, don't give the Angela. I think um, even despite not having Baksha in here, though, it's not worth it. There is the Angela ban. So you either go Valentina here if you're BTR or go extreme, get the Paquito. Or Teresla. Mm. Paquito or Teresla, yep. actually. I think the Valentina. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I was about to say, I think the Valentina would be not as good as the Paquito because, again, for Cereza, 100% win rate. But this playoffs, Moreno has been a different beast entirely. So yep. get, a uh, get a comfort hero on him. This is his signature pick. And for RQ, though, this is also quite dangerous because RQ will be able to get their signature pick on Banana, that Paquito. Yep. Okay, so there are a lot of answers to this. Though. Of course, the Teresla is uh, still open. And Lilia as well. We know for sure that the Lilia is uh, extremely good in the meta game right now. But of course, with the presence of the other priorities, should be a different. Ooh. Oh, Rafaela, this one is good. One from RQ. No pack. There you go. Oh my God. They, they are taking a big risk here. Yes, the Edith is a good pick. The Rafaela as well. But leaving a Valentina already is dangerous. Now a Paquito on top of that, a signature pick for both Sorizo and yep. Valentina. Remember what Sorizo was able to do against CW yesterday, against Onik. Yep. That game-winning play, bottom lane. Yep. Bruno, good snatch coming out from BTR. They could not let that happen because it could be easily be taken by RQ. The combo yeah. is going to be complete. I wonder if BTR is considering getting the Faramis as their roam, even when it does not fit their lineup because it is the only hero now that they can pick up against this. Ooh, wow. It's the Diggy. Oh my god. Very Understandable. Good. Very good Very response good, yeah. here, right? Uh, again, Rafaela, Edith, and also they are trying to somehow anticipate an Akai pick here from the side of RRQ, which is very possible though. Again, RQ, will they go for the Akai? Looking at their compositions here, it still affects, right? Mid lane Rafa is a possibility. Either XB. Rome or mm -hmm. EXB. Yeah, good flex for RQ, but it's the same issue that they're dealing with, right? So much CC in their comp that needs to be used to win them these games. And this is a complete deny on Fairsick already. They banned the box at Fredrick. What's el what else? Uh, what are all the picks Spartus. for Fairsick? It is usually Akai, Gore, uh, Grok, sorry, or Mardis. All of them also rely on CC. So they have to go for something like this, a Lancelot. And to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, back at home who are watching, we've only seen Fairsick play the Lancelot once yeah. in Season 12. It has to be a little bit of rust that he needs to, yeah. you know, shake off on top of the already lingering mental you know, hits that he's taken in the first two games. If uh, Zaya bans something like a Yuzhan or uh, uh, actually Yuzhan or uh, Paquito mm -hmm. in uh, Paquito. their next few events, I expect the Sir, Ixia as their choice of jungler. They ban the Fanny, which is of course always good going up against the Parkhead. Time and time and there's a Beatrix no ban as well. Now anymore. they are really yeah. starting to nail Skylar down. They no. have actually been ignoring Skyler for the most part, right? Has, haven't been banning out their heroes, but they find that right now, it's the time to ban him out. Why is that? I yeah. think just to limit the yeah, options, limit. right? Exactly. I mean, Claude is still on the board, perhaps the next potential ban from side of Bigatron, but going up against Bruno here, I see potential in a, Bru a Brody ban as well. Yeah. yeah. Carry ban? Do they want to go for the carry? I don't think so. No. Uh, honestly, um, it's it's weird, but I'm gonna say it's, it should be Ixia because they don't have the um, BTR doesn't have the dive. Yeah, I like that. Yet. The Ixia makes complete sense here. You're right. Uh, the, it's still a pure front to back for Big yep. Alpha. They're just lacking their front liners and a punch yep. for a punch. There's the Paquito. As expected. Yeah, I, I think that they um, at least for RQ they have a choice to get the Yuzhong. Yeah. 
as their uh, EXP lane and then put this combo that they have, the Rafael of the did, with Van. Yeah. You're such a nerd, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Of course. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a yeah, uh, good job coming out from BTR. Good job coming out from you. They Thank were you. able to locate the extra ban. Okay. So let's see here, let's see here. RQ, will they, again, you don't pick is a possibility. Yep. And just show their cards here, no more flex, yep. right? In their comp. Or maybe, maybe just get the marksman in this slot because they want to keep the Edith like kind of flex. So you still okay. have the Claude for uh, Skylar yep. and uh, the Brody that we know that can at least match up against the Bruno in the uh, laning stage. Huh. And if he, oh, of course, the Claude is, uh, I would say, more rewarding <laughs> because you have the Raffaella hey, anyways. Oh, wow. Barca. An unorthodox pick for oh. Clay, but it is a oh, signature no. that we have seen many times before. They're opting for comfort in a big, big pressure game. And that's it, a Farsa. But that will also mean that the Edith will be going XP and the Rafaela will exactly. be the Roamer. And that gives Bigatron so much information exactly. now. So much. They can dive in. Yeah. They can yeah. get a good matchup for you, the Edith as well. Use on or Lapu Lapu for exactly. perhaps. The Rizla is still open. <laughs> the return of the oh, there's so much. Oh, go, Uranus. So the problem with this uh, Farsa is that even. I understand why they pick it up though, because it's a clay special. Yep. Yeah. But at the same time, it does not stop BTR from no. getting this. There's so many ways to pressure this Farsa. I understand the idea. I think the Farsa is there to just try to... Range. The range and the burst mainly. The burst to try to bait out the time journey, right? Which can work, but you need to be ahead for that yep. to happen. You need to try to snowball. And yep. with this kind of composition, I honestly feel like Bigger China are going to be the ones who are proactive in this map. Or yep. you are a bit more reactive with their heroes. Exactly. They need a very, very yeah. big... But, oh, I don't Carrier like Claude. it. The Rafael is on Naomi. <laughs> Completely <laughs> forgot about that. That's not a style. The Brody is Skyler style. Oh, man. I... Naomi on a healer. Naomi on a healer. Oh, oh man. Lord. I think that this is... Uh, BTR got this, wow. I think. 3-0, is that what you're going to say? Perhaps? Oh Perhaps. The Farsa is just so off-putting. I would understand if it was the last pick because they would not have the choice. Imagine if they just pick up the Brody because we already saw that exactly, coming. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. There was no one else. Brody was predicted to be their fourth pick. If they did that, at least they can now flex their Eden. And this could not be a greatness. This could be a different story. Then they could have adjusted their fourth pick, their last pick. Showing oh their cards too early, perhaps Barry. might oh, kind of cost no. them the game, and it was, it's going to be an expensive game as it is 2 and 0 in the best of five. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, once again, match point for the Red Terminators as they look to terminate it. The kings of kings who are fighting on their last legs. Welcome to the land of dawn for game number three. The last hope for RRQ lies on their Welcome comfort picks and an unorthodox Rafaela on Naomi. Rarely do we see this, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. But again, Bigatron, they have a chance to sweep the kings of kings. Let's see if AI's, if the program of the artificial intelligence this time will be able to hack into the king, the kingdom. Anything interesting here, Wolf? I mean, looking at the emblems, it's an impure yeah. rage on that Diggy. So he'll have so much to stay in here. Yeah, that Diggy is going to be a big problem for sure. So uh, anything other interesting is the focusing mark on uh, Naomi, yeah. which is uh, typically um, going to be, uh, well, I guess he just likes that uh, that emblem. With, he plays with the Franco, he plays it with his Rafaela. Uh, we can rely that he will be able to land his ultimate, right? Because it, it, that's just Naomi. If he can land the hooks, Holy Baptism should not be that difficult. Okay, but there's a good trade going on. Clay? Wings by wings. Very aggressive early, but it seems like Bigatron, they were aware of that play now. Super can realize that Clay, no wings by wings. Oh with the God. archery, will find the heavy spin and finds first blood. Wow. Great, great tobacco play there by Super can, But it seems like now with the three man gang, Super can will be the trade. Great response by our Q. Would you say it was worth it, Wolf? Because again, <laughs> we did just speak, uh, talk about the fact that the, that the Farson needs to snowball. If he gets shut down like that, yeah. Is it worth it for BTR? Um, I don't think so because that's also like snowballing is also very important for uh, the Akai, especially with the heavy spin usage. You, know, you can see the turtle fight it might not be in their favor. Fortunately, though, for Super Ken, he might 
be able to get ultimate get level five because he got a kill. Interestingly, he's still level four. That mm. is weird to me. Yeah, I mean, I think it was also because he was down below the Lancelot, and that's okay. why Super Ken will have a. Exactly, that's why it's weird now. Let's see. Oh, retribution battle. Clay, though, will find a kill onto his gate. Out there, retribution will fall to the hands of Super Ken in the bottom lane. It's actually Skylar taken out as well, and so oh. Rizzo and Super Ken. The dynamic duo finds a kill in the mid. The robots are creating an earthquake, a disaster for the kings as they try to siege down the kingdom already with the entirety of the gold shield. Down below, it's on a Bruno. Talking about snowball, you don't get as much snowball as a Bruno. Oh, take a look at this. The damage comes through. Flicker, Flicker even from Banana, but not enough range. Miscalculated. Wasted flicker. Now, and even steal. Oh my god, pressuring Spursic in his own jungle. Yep, they get to five stacks. They're confident. Um, does have the purify, so he, he will stay here. With Brave Smite, purify Uranus. Oh, wait! Uh, full no, wait. Is this a solo kill? Full stack Uranus. Let's see, full stack Uranus diving in. Oh! oh. Finds at the kill! Under the turret! No way! No way did that just happen! Sorizo! And oh. now, he cannot defend the purple. No. The purple is even more important. For mm. Lancelot. Yeah, he used the red tree. Oh, okay. good time, Stack's Gurney. gone. Naomi, oh what great kind of uh, defense coming up from Naomi. Had it not been for the entirety of RQ, that purple buff will be lost, and Fursic would have been in a very disastrous place. And look at the swamp already, guys. Look at the swamp very early on. Usually you expect it at five minutes after, uh, you know, the gold minions don't come over. Moreno doing a lot of damage. This might be a kill. Play terrified. Has the flicker. Will waste it. Now in the mid, they, it seems like Bigatron, they will chunk this gold shield turret. And Play has nothing. Can do, uh, can do nothing about it. I don't think Skylar can do much about this as well. He can put the damage on Cerezo, but it just certainly is not. Wait. Skylar, you flank. have no turret there. The flank, the flank, 3v1, oh, the man. setup, Super yes, Ken. Oh, good flicker, yeah, you're right. One spell will save his life. Yep. That's also heavy spin, so maybe RRQ are brave enough to kind of contest this. But look and at the Bruno. Uh-huh. They want to contest this. Okay. Yeah. They know that the, without the heavy spin, it will be an even battle. And the, the fact that they have Feather Dare Strike and they have the Baptism, yeah, now they're feeling confident. That delayed take again, right? I mean, look at the Bruno. They don't even care. Super Ken says, sure, let's contest it. It'll be a 50-50 here, but it'll be 100-0 to zero for the turrets you have up top. They're still lingering up top, taking the orange buff away, and Super Ken is still looking for it. Yeah, Banana here with the zone. But first it will grab the turtle comfortably. Now, though, Banana. They will not be committed. Top lane, still the duo of Diggy and Bruno with the help of Valentina here. Seems like we'll be able to siege Great Feather Airstrike taken by Moreno to zone some members of our kill. Wow. And now we slowly but surely see a shift in the audience prediction. Super Ken. Say purple buff invade. Purple buff though will be taken. Now with a heavy spin, it seems like. Persic will not have the purple. Take a look at the burst damage. What? Sorizo again with the kill. Now the mid structure falls and RRQ, they're down bad to worse. They're not just down bad, they're down terrible. 0 3 and 2 for their jungler. What's the win con here for RRQ Wolf? Oh, so difficult. You would say that if they land big ultimates, that could be good. But again, this is Diggy. So even when I say that, okay, maybe good initiation coming out from Banana, Holy Baptism onto three or four members of BTR, oh. damage coming from Skylar, that could be good. But you have crowd control immunity coming out from Diggy. And that already is the problem for RRQ. I mean, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, RRQ, it seems like for the first time in Season 12, we just cannot see yeah. where RRQ can really, you know, Put on some pressure even. Shiba just walks up. Uh -oh. Pots that worldy. Oh, let's see. Good flicker. But Banana now isolated oh. under the turret and the damage will come through. Sign sealed and delivered. First sick though, will look for a play. Doesn't fight it. Super key taken down by the torn apart memory. Brilliantly done. They're able to find one, but it is on to Key who has died once. So 
less gold than anyone else here. And BTR have set up perfectly for the up-and-coming turtle. Dang. So difficult now for RQ. What else should we talk about about RQ? I mean, they really need to be lucky this time. Because I, I say, I'm a big fan of Zaya, right? I'm a very big fan. I think like, he's one of the best drafters out there. But this game number three draft that they have, it's very, very un uh, uncharacteristic for them. Okay, so Rezone 1 v 3 Further Air Strike, FTP popped. Going apart memory, not oh. enough damage. It takes Sorizo down now on the other side of the map. Spikatron looking for an angle. Seems like the opening wasn't enough. Again, RQ tried. RQ tried to look for a tool, something that they can use in this game. That Torn Apart Memory has been efficient this game, but not against Sorizo, not against Uranus. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Well. It's a very slow build for Bigatron Alpha, but slow but steady wins the race. RQ cannot handle anything, whether it be fast or slow. Fairsick. Oh! Heavy spin does not connect. Good Thorn Rose to Juke. But again, the mid lane turret will be taken out. Itemize here. Very interesting. Three items for Bruno, but only two for Brody. I don't know about that, man. 2,000 gold. That's something that I do, again, not too sure <laughs> if, it, if it's happening to Skylar here, but something that I do when I'm tilted on the Brody is I'll just skill one ult, skill one ult every <laughs> single wave. And mm. you can't, I don't know if you want to be doing that with your resources when it's a, it's not a wave that you want to clear like super yeah. fast anyways. That's right. And the thing is, they need farm on two, on three heroes, in fact. They need farm the Farsa, they need farm the Brody, and at the same time, the Lancelot. So three farm-dependent heroes on the side of RRQ. The fact that they don't have any contention in the map, they don't have real estate to work yeah. with, that means that they will be scrambling for scraps. And I would repeat what I said in game number two. The only way for RQ to win this is if the game goes 23 minutes. 23, that's a, wow. that's a very tall order, yeah. my guy. It's what, eight minutes now. Eight 23 minutes. minutes. You have that's to right. survive for 15 quite minutes. a while. Quite Wait, a how while. Wait, high ground wise though, the composition of RRQ isn't looking too good they as well. They have the Farsa, so they have at least. A, okay, wave clear. Okay. 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 okay, they have the Brody, sure. But the Farsa I mean, with here. the Edith, that's pretty good wave clear, actually. Edith, uh, Farsa, Primal and Brody. Wrath mode. Okay. Yeah, but you have to use resources, exactly. And yeah. no one can... The Diggy is such the a The Diggy is a problem, right? Because big big imagine it. Like, even if all of the ultimates are thrown out, as uh, BTR, I will just focus on the tower. Yeah. yeah. After, after. The Bruno can just hit. And <laughs> even <laughs> if even if he's uh, forced to fight, right? He doesn't go for the turret. The Diggy time journey lets the Bruno, who's already snowballed in this position. Let's take a look at the items behind me. It's a husk, bro. Eight minutes. He has a Melfic roar. Three items. He already already. has the three item power spike in eight minutes. Bruno, after the base damage nerf, that's what has haltered him from being that first pick prior. If you can get games like this, Bruno will always be first pick. That's right. Ridiculous. I three think, items, eight minutes. I think that is why after this match, Diggy is an expensive hero. Yeah. It's oh like man. a this has to do, like so. You're, we're talking about enchanters like supports. Angela, Matilda, then Rafaela, Diggy. then Diggy is now uh, in that uh, conversation. Maybe one of their uh, far cousins should be the Faramis. Florin. Yep. Florin, of course. Wow, okay. If there's a team that I would expect Flo to be to pick up Florin, I think about BTR and Onik. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Out of topic, though, where do you put Lolita? Um, sadly, it's too slow. Too um, slow. Is that the problem with Lolita? Is that yeah. why? Even though, you know, great mechanics, especially with the bulwark. Yeah. Okay. You haven't seen it? Just yeah. mobility? It's just, uh, it's not even the, the mobility. It's, it's uh, the way that he can get from one lane to another. It's uh, too boring to watch. Underwhelming. Like, so, uh -huh. <laughs> it take a lot of time. Whereas, even if you pick up the Rapid boots. Wilderness Blessing, it's not enough. Look at the uh, look at Rafaela for example. Yep. Easy to zoom go zoom. Around. zoom zoom. It's not zoom, even on zoom, the Ducati. Yep. Zoom, Imagine zoom. if Rafaela gets the Ducati skin. Yep. <laughs> oh man, but here it is. Wolf, this is the tradition. When we get back into the game, our referee, our marshal, will do this pose right here. Go! Boom. Welcome back to game number three. Let's take a look. It's nine minutes in. That's a three-item power spike for Shive on the Bruno. Whew. 15 minutes to buy RRQ. Do they have enough resolve for this? I would say that among all of the teams, 
here in Indonesia, RQ is always like thinking about ways for them to uh, to come back. Great mm -hmm. the... aura around them. Exactly. And uh, uh, they have uh, heroes to kind of deal with the lanes. But I'm not entirely sure if they can get out of their base. Again, they have to just settle for scraps. Uh oh, reverse oh, time. No. Good bait now. Banana forced to use the Primal Wrath. That's info. Play as well. Pop the premature FTP. Huge resource wasted, which allows Bigatron Alpha to claim the first Lord in the game. That's L1 for BA. Lord 1 for Bigatron Ooh. Alpha. Nine minutes in now, getting to that 10 minute mark, and BTR are just freezing the waves, suffocating RRQ, who are already desperate for farm, who are already going to kind of fall off with the, yep. with the Brody. Oh my god. And they're even like freezing the lanes this yeah. time. Look at them, like not clearing the mid lane. Key, damage dealt, number one. You thought it was the Bruno? No, no. it's Key. With the wow. Bombs. <laughs> Diggy bombs are crazy. I'm very annoying. Yeah, especially with Impure Rage. Uh, keep spamming. Yep. Doesn't matter. Your mana can keep on getting back in. It's a three-way push, Ghani. Mm. Are you ready for the siege? The kingdom is under siege, and it's a big robot that is knocking. Let's Ooh. see. Good heavy spin. First it caught in the mid lane turret. Taken out. Not just yet. He escapes now in the mid lane turret. It will be the target as Lord still stands. Or RQ. They look to grab and stay composed. Good defense in the mid, and no base turrets touch just yet. Great defense. Oh. oh, seems like now. After that opening, I was surprised that no member from Rex Regium Kaon was taken down. And the fact that they did not lose any inhibitor, the yep. first Lord of the game, that's yeah. uh, especially with the state that they're in, it's actually great defense. Excellent defense coming up from RQ. Phenomenal, really, for RQ. The fact that they were able to defend while well, we were, again, just criticizing that the Big Turn Alpha can, well, that the Diggy from Big Turn Alpha can just walk up, use that time journey, and get the team to dive. I think there was a slight miscommunication as well for BTR as to what they were going to do with the heavy spin. Catch or zone? Oh, heavy spin again. Not to cancel the FTP, but just to zone out now. So Rizzo caught. Consecration as well. The torn apart memory. Will deal uh -oh. not enough damage now, but Anacon, oh, take a look at the critical by Shiva. Great ball there to take him down. They really cannot handle Shiva's balls right now. Oh, that's very bad communication again from RQ. Like, all of these, uh, all of the things that we're saying about RQ, they come in waves. Sometimes they look as if they're really good when it comes to team fighting. Most of the time, they're Look like they're disconnected and Banana being left there. Everybody else oh. just went back. Very bad. Oh no, he gets out of range. Oh. What a terrify coming oh. up from Super Moreno. <laughs> good cover. You're right, good cover. 12 minutes in, 8,000 gold leads still. Now let's see, 10 more minutes according to the calculation of Mr. Wolf. Well, 12 minutes in, there's 10 minutes to go, Wolf. Do you think they yeah. can survive the next five? Is my question. With a Lord, this time enhanced, coming in, and a base turret with the first Lord was already taken yeah. down. I would say, though, that maybe having uh, three inhibitor turrets might be a difficult task to defend, but having only one turret, that's also good. Banana now, taking damage. Ouch. Taking it now, see that again. Ouch. Let's see, torn apart memory, good time journey, as the FTP was spot as well. Now, first take looking for an angle, spot. Oh, too early, but it seems uh -oh. like now he's gone now. Retribution battle as Versic taken now. Super can clean a retry. Two man down. I repeat, two man down. Wolf, 10 minutes seems like 100 years it's for RRQ. For sure, especially with that gamble coming up from Versic. To be honest, he might have uh, had better results if he just split push and cut the waves. But now they have to defend against the broad force of BTR with their ultimate schooling down. BTR go at it first time, getting the base turret free up top and then saying, I'll be back. This time with an enhanced Lord in the mid lane. The Red Terminator is looking to seal the deal to terminate the Kings from season 12. Potentially the final push of the series. Let's see, RRQ for the first time ever. Will they not make it to the M series? Banana taken out. First take now. Looking for a kill. In the back side though. It's a mess. Oh my goodness. Base wide open. Bigatron Alpha. It's over. It is all over.
Baker John Alpha sweeps RRQ. The Terminators again. Lower bracket buff. It happened in SBS. They were took, taken down all the way down. But it did not matter. For they came back stronger. And here it has happened again. Terminating an all-timer in the World Series. But keeping one of the RQ member in their den. In their team.